In this tutorial, we're going to replace a billboard using motion tracking in After Effects with Mocha. You can do the exact same thing to replace a TV or phone screen. And uh, it's important to know that Mocha is built into After Effects now. The first of all, you need to import your imagery into After Effects. There's some in the link below. I'm gonna import my um, main Chicago video into my project area on the left and drag in uh, an image we're gonna replace the billboard with over here. After you've dragged in your source imagery, um, you can then drag your video down into your timeline down here. It's important that you try and work this way because the frame rates should then match. It's important to double check this though. So if you right click on the video that you, you're using in your project area and go to interpret footage main and make a note of the frame rate there. Just make sure you click in this area here, then composition, composition settings, and just check that the frame rate actually matches, which in this case it does. If it doesn't, you're going to have some trouble later on and you need to update this one here. While I'm in here, actually, I'm also going to uh, edit the duration of the project down to 10 seconds for what I need it for. And now we're ready to track. So if you click on your layer first, then go to animation and then go to track in Mocha AE. This will open up a totally different program alongside After Effects. And if it does bring up any windows asking you for registration or anything else, just hit later or whatever um, and you should eventually see this window here again double check that the frame rate is the same number that you saw before and then hit ok and even though you might have trimmed down your video beforehand or trimmed down your composition you can see it's actually got the whole video um, that it's going to try and look at in here so uh, we can sort that out so if i really only need, needed to go about this far frame 111 for example i could just uh, put in a similar number over here you can hold Z to zoom in and out of your area of interest and then hold X to pan around to what you want to see. And the first thing we need to do is to tell Mocha which part of the video we want it to focus on. So we're going to go to the X spline pen tool up here and then we're going to do a dot to dot around the edge of the poster. So if I start up here and you can do this fairly roughly, it hasn't got to be totally accurate to the exact edges of what you want to track. But I am going to be careful on this side so that I don't tell it to look at any of the pixels beyond this building because the environment's going to move differently in the distance. So I'm just being careful with that side. When you're done with this, you can right click to finalize. And now we can tell Mocha to specifically focus on the actual poster. So if we go over to our planar surface tool here, click on that, it will generate a square for us. And then we're free to move these points to the exact edge of the poster. And you can see in the top left, it's giving you a little magnified preview of that. Just to be safe, uh, I always try and make these points ever so slightly bigger than the screen or billboard that I'm trying to track so that none of the original screen uh, ends up showing through in my final video. Now you've done that, at the bottom, um, we can change some settings quick. So where it says minimum percentage of pixels used, I'm gonna up that to 100. It'll take a bit longer to render, but I'd rather be safe. And we are using perspective here, so enable that. Now we can hit the track forward button, which is just here, and uh, wait for it to track every single frame that we've asked it to. Now that it's finished, I'm going to zoom out and uh, review the final track. So I'm just holding Z to zoom out there and X to pan around. What's quite impressive is that even though the billboard's starting to go off of the screen at the bottom, it's still calculating where it would actually be, which is way better than the built-in tracker in After Effects. So if you scrub your time slider left and right or hit the space bar when you're at the beginning, you should see that the blue border not the red border, but the blue border is exactly at the edge of your poster in every single frame, which means it's a good track. I'm gonna hit stop there. You can also go to where it says insert clip up here and put in um, a quick grid and preview that just to be uh, extra sure that it's gonna be fine. Now we can click on export tracking data near the bottom down here and uh, hit copy to clipboard. If you choose one of the uh, corner pin ones, um, I do like a bit of motion blur, so I'm choosing that. But hit copy to clipboard like that. And now we go back to After Effects. So just uh, go back into After Effects. And then we need to create a new solid. So that's layer, new solid. The size of it should match your composition. Hit OK. And dark grey solid should appear like this. We need to pre-compose this so that we can put our poster in with the group later. So to pre-compose it, just hit Command Shift C or go to Layer Pre-Compose. And I'm gonna name it Poster. And you can uh, make sure it says leave all the attributes option up there, hit okay. 
And now if you double click on this brown layer, now this poster layer that I've just made, it should take you inside of it where you can then see the solid layer there. Now we can drag in our quarantine poster uh, just above it here and go to layer, transform, fit to comp. And it will stretch it to match the exact size of this comp here. Now back in the Chicago tab over here, if you click on a tab that's furthest to the left, this is your final video. You can see that the original video is just beneath this layer here. Now we want to paste the tracking data that we just copied from Mocha. You have to make sure your time slider is at zero for this to work. So just double check it's exactly at zero over here. Make sure that the pre-composed layer that you just made is highlighted and then hit Command V to paste that onto there. And you can preview this, just hit the space bar. And you can see that the poster has tracked perfectly to the edge of the building there. Obviously, I want my um, clip to stop here, so uh, later on when I'm doing all my edits, I can cut that. And in a later tutorial, I'll be color correcting the poster so that it matches the colors of the video better.